big silky fish Digging real delicious, getting filthy rich Never been a joker, hate a punk or simp Get your punks up high while I talk my shit All right, everybody. Uh, I'm Psalm One, and this is Angel Davenport, obviously. Mm -hmm. This week, we want to celebrate some of the cool things that are happening in this godforsaken <laughs> pandemic. A bit of good news. Um, as many of you know, we are from Chicago. We're based in Minneapolis. But in Chicago, we have this guy, um, this Tamale King, this prince of nightlife who would come into the bar with tamales at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and feed the drunkards. Really, <laughs> I believe Claudio has saved lives. And in this pandemic, was still trying to make a living, was doing like some house calls sort of thing, I guess, and someone narked on him. Claudio mm -hmm. is a food worker. Yes. Do you know what that means? Essential business. Claudio is an essential business. He makes fucking tamales. He makes sure people are good. If he's, if we're not out there getting drunk and he's not feeding us at four in the morning, people die. Claudio is adapting. Yeah. So, but not to give the narc too much shine because it's not about the stupid narc who narked on him. They started a GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. uh, Marissa KM is organizing this fundraiser. It was created on May 9th. They wanted to help him in this troubled time, lend a hand. And the goal was 10 racks. And mm. as of six minutes ago, they had raised $33,068 for Claudio, the legend. Man, people in a pandemic who are willing to still risk their lives and come bring your ass food, Bring your ass juice, your raggedy ass yes. things to keep you happy and Stay alive goodness. and satiated. Why would you hate on somebody just trying to like still feed their family? Thank you, City of Chicago and people from far and wide who contributed to this fundraiser. Mm -hmm. The rumor is that Claudio might be getting someplace brick and mortar to do his stuff. So that would be awesome because I you know many a nights where Claudio has come in the bar. Every East Room night, G. Man, and really just helped us out we help him out with some money some money he helps us out with some sustenance because drunk people need their <laughs> food <laughs> late in those late hours so <laughs> thank you to everyone who contributed to uh claudio the tamale man's fundraiser mm -hmm. yeah so keep yeah. contributing yeah um and claudio look at you boo look at you look at you go ahead look at you are you tired of your favorite rappers giving you no bars but expecting you to pay top dollar for the art? Can you even call it all art? Are you tired of your legends falling off? Well, look no further. Casual from the legendary Hieroglyphics crew is back with Big Head Science. You like bars. You like skill. You like patterns. You like to be taken somewhere. You like to be given some knowledge, right? Big Head Science, the rap guide casual of hieroglyphics, is back. Go get you some. So, uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait. Is they not we would just, we would just like y'all to know that we are very, very, we are very, very excited to let y'all know that um, after after two episodes, we have signed a lucrative deal and <laughs> got picked up for season two. So all you broke bitches. Broke bitches. You can't even talk to me no more. I mean, my convo. <laughs> look, do you see this money? It's Ooh. too much. It's just too much money Ooh. in the room. I can't fucking hear what y'all saying. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. What? Man, y'all better stop playing with me. Season two <laughs> of a very silky show. It's coming. It's already, I mean, it's already written. Big you know, bags. Like, Big after, bags. After two episodes, we just... <laughs> then you get a, can you get just, a new whip? Nigga, just new whip. Is that Young Silky? Stop following me! <laughs> new whip. New screens, new plants, new bread, nigga, bread, 
bread, A very nigga. silky so- show is going place. You better get on the ground floor now, motherfucker. Nigga, yeah. All right. You heard? Plug hitting me up right now. Money. <laughs> Stay silky, stay silky, stay silky, stay silky, stay silky, stay silky. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Angel Davenport, and this is like Stay Silky Tip of the Week. Take accountability for your energy. Yeah, that's a big one. Boom, just blow your mind, right? All right, so you're in quarantine. It's probably not as cracking as it was the first few weeks. I know, you know, playing Monopoly and Uno and Connect Four. It's not as much fun anymore, you know? Sometimes you're gonna get a little fed up, a little annoyed, even a little irritated, like bothered just by everything around. You might wake up and be like, shit, this sucks. But just take accountability for your energy. You know, don't be bogus. Respect that everybody's going through this differently and you're all trying to like, you know, stay grounded and stay kind, stay compassionate, stay sweet to each other. That's just the real tea. You hey know? baby, I bought you some crystals. My nigga, come on, I'm recording. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> like you wallet. <laughs> That's my stay silky tip of the week. Be accountable, be kind, be compassionate. You know, don't be a dick. We're all stuck in the house. Stay silky, stay silky, stay silky, stay silky, stay silky. Stay silky. Yeah. All right, all right, so let me ask you, why are you delivering juices to niggas in the Twin Cities? <laughs> <laughs> in a fucking pandemic. In a y'all. pandemic. What are you doing? If the community needs some help, you know what I mean? I, you know, at my little job I was working at, the motherfuckers was hacking up and all that type shit. So I started making juices because I'm looking around like, man, yeah, I'll be damned in a closed confinement if, you know, all these motherfuckers hacking and shit. This was like, October. So I was like, let me just start making juices. I was posting my juices and whatnot. Yeah. And more than a few, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, you know, close to you, you know, was like, hey man, <laughs> I need some of them juices. So every time you make them, let me get some. And, yeah. You know, I'm like, Fuck it, let me try it out. And you know, here we are. We delivering juices to the community with uh, immunity. You feel me? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we love it. We always keep a bottle, keep a jar in our house. I'm an avid. I have like 57 mason jars. Hey. What the fuck? You can plant with them things. You can make soup. <laughs> you, can you know what? Overnight oats. You feel me? Um, you I, I, uh, make you some pickles. <laughs> <laughs> What are your boundaries? Because we got people in Chicago <laughs> DMing me. Oh, I'm yeah. like, I don't think he deliver out there. <laughs> no, niggas like Atlanta. But yeah, no, it gets tight. I mean, shit. You know what I mean? My, really, basically, Twin City area. But if they want to get it overnight, it is so be it. I'll, I'll send them to, you know, I'll send them hey. to Atlanta. You feel me? What's your favorite uh, flavor that you like? What do you drink the most? I mean, to keep it real, I drink. I drink a, a fruit punch because at the end I use all the shit that's left over and <laughs> <laughs> just it juice it all. But out of the, I mean, to each of them, it, it, they all kind of serve its purpose. You feel me? Not to be like, oh, well, you know, trying to promote my shit, but I like the orange one because that got to, you know, like the, it got like a wake you up type flavor, you know, the red one. That's, you know, that's like got some beet and watermelon. That's like a refreshing, hydrate joint. The green one got the earthy taste. So, you know, you definitely know you're getting your nutrients. That's my morning yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my morning shit. I be hit that in the morning. That's, like, the, healthy, hey, yeah. that's the healthiest one. I mix that joint with some, like, uh, some uh, apple cider vinegar and some little turmeric oil and some oh, other shit. shit just to take a little shot. You know what I mean? Drink that shit quick. You feel me? Oh, look at that. Found the youth. That's boy. actually that's a good idea. That's my favorite one too. 
Well, shit, health is wealth. We love you. You stay looking good with the Benjamin Button. We're like, are you getting younger? What the hell? Yeah. We hey. might have to put a picture up for you, uh, your uh, your avatar. You look like you go sell some golf clubs. <laughs> you and Phila? Y'all niggas selling interracial it golf clubs. <laughs> interracial golf club membership. This like some they're they're desegregating. Y'all are hey, desegregating hey. with those Martin clubs. Martin Luther King is smiling in his grave right there. You Boy, you me? said <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew what was said. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but definitely appreciate the love. I love what y'all doing. Hey, a motherfucker can say he was there, you know, be y'all on or something. I got niggas out. I, I, I just talked to my nigga. I was like, hey, man, they gonna have me on the show. He's like, nigga, I listen to that shit. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> All in her ear, woo, woo, woo. And it's a nigga that don't even know y'all. Like, yeah, that's, that's what's what up. Said, man. That's, you know what I mean? That's where you know it's right, you know what I mean? Uh, we appreciate you. We love that you, uh, Love our ads for Buddha blends. Oh, we man, put a man. lot of time and effort into those. Buddha blends. I'm gonna have to start kick, kicking y'all some bread here in a minute. You know uh, boy, now we good. I'm gonna need a juice sponsorship. Just, just, just juice sponsors. I mean, you say that now. Wait till the lawyers get it. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm not serious, nigga. What? All right, much love. Thank you so much, and thank you for the beats. You you keep big. You keep big silky on a high note. Uh, hey. Just so y'all out there know, Buddha Thai also made the storage song and a Big Silky intro on Big Silky Volume 1. So a man of all things, a jack of all trades, a man of many juices. So <laughs> thank you. We love you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace. Salute. Peace. Hark. What do I see over yonder? Buddha, Buddha bless. I think it's delivery. I think it's love. Buddha, Buddha bless. bless. Juices in the distance can be seen. Buddha, Buddha bless. bless. I love black businesses, not me. Buddha blends, Buddha blends, blends. Available in Blue Magic, Green Dream, Orange Crush, and Blood Red. Big silky fish, digging real delicious, getting filthy rich. Never been a joke, I hate a punk or simp. Get your punks up high while I talk my shit. B A M B M. Ooh, black ass movies. Y'all, this is Sophia Aris. Woo! You already know who the fuck I am. And uh, she's special guest. We wanted to do this new I segment. Damn, damn, phone, nigga. This is what happens when you have famous guests. Trauma. Uh, <laughs> we wanted to introduce a brand new segment. Um, bam, B A M, black ass movies for all of our black ass cinema. Black love. ass movies. <laughs> so great. What, yeah. So. so, this week, so what's the First black ass movie. Well, okay, look, so let's just start from here. Um, our criteria are going to be cast, story, soundtrack, and cultural impact. Um, and then we're going to have a POC rating system. The rating system. Uh, how many POCs? <laughs> how it's many POCs? Five POCs. <laughs> the first film that we are uh, ranking today is Boomerang. Woo! Five POCs. Five POCs. Five POCs because... I watched Boomerang way too many times as a child, even when I wasn't supposed to. I was way too young to be seeing some of those sex scenes. <laughs> but let's, let's start with the cast real quick, okay? The cast, we had Eddie Murphy oh. in his sex symbol, mm. Prime. Mm. Yeah, They're making him a, a sex, sex symbol. symbol. They're trying to make him sexy. They put makeup all over him in that movie. He was he fine. Sleek. The haircut was sleek. He, he had like, several sex scenes, you know too. Well, Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Underrated, Halle Berry. underrated queen on the come up. The cutie patootie Halle Berry. Yeah. Just uh, what, Robin Givens? Robin Givens. Oh, Martin Lawrence. Good. Yes, Martin Lawrence. David Ooh. Allen Greer. Chris motherfucking Rock. Chris Rock. Oh, young. Grace and... Jones. Yo. Strange. Strange. Fucking strange. Nigga. And then the whole girl like, I don't have any panties on. What was her name? The LG. Oh, 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 wait, heard the kick. Yeah. Oh, she said. Oh, he said, can we take I it? Can we make it any darker in here? <laughs> <laughs> the 
I give it five pogs too, just because the gold standard. The cast was amazing. I just said the cast and it was over. Yeah, the you story. The the story was fly. The story was funny. Oh, and that's that was a bit about Eddie Murphy films like back then, like Coming to America. I'm sure we're gonna rank that soon enough because that's my favorite movie. But the Eddie Murphy films at that era, he was always showed black um, people to be regal or, or yeah. rich or successful in some way, shape, or form. And, and this yeah. in this film, you know, like, they, they were all executives. They were all very successful in their own way, shape, or mm-hmm. form. Let's talk about the soundtrack, too. Yes. Like, so this, so let me just say, this was an era where um, a lot of black artists were put on by the soundtracks of black films. Mm. And I remember arguing with my mom when I was, like, five, like, like, no, like, Halle Berry is Tony Braxton. I remember, like, literally <laughs> thinking Tony Braxton and Halle Berry are the same person because watching Facts. the music video of the Tony Braxton song that was in this film, like, the should brought you yeah. home last night. That's it. Mm. And her look Don't give like, too much. Copyright. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cultural impact. <laughs> I saw every motherfucking hairstyle in and through that movie That's on right. every single bitch in every single magazine. Mm-hmm. And Martin and Gina were both in that movie. Oh, Gina. Whoa. She said, she said, you wanna, you wanna come that was before That was before Brian. Yeah. Before yeah. Martin. Yeah. yeah. In conclusion, we're giving Boomerang five packs. I mean, you can't get better than that. Five packs. Gold Everybody star buy. for uh, Boomerang. Go, yeah. Gold star, star for Marcus. Gold star for me. <laughs> Gold star for and the toes, pretty much like that. That movie was a the bunch toes. of amazing, iconic moments combined. Yeah, facts, facts. Like seriously, the scenes they were just like what. So if you haven't watched Boomerang, go watch Boomerang. Dude, what the fuck's wrong? With yep. You, um. Yeah. Black ass movies. Hit us up by Real Big Silky on Instagram and send us some black ass movies. Um, black yeah. ass movies. Black Ooh. ass movies. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs>
than your service be earnest Look me in my eye and know I'm honest, I promise Kizzy G McLovin, you can call me your shaman Let me feel you, I swear my lips could heal you Got perfect divination, I see you in my future Libido so amazing, I fuck you and I woo you I stalk you every day but only see you every blue moon I know I've been trapped, these boys can't handle me You know what to do since I threw it perfect Okay, so there's a story at the end of this. Um, we not gonna we not gonna let this play right now because it's like talking on talking. So, big silky, <laughs> baby shower. I love this song. It's one of my favorite. It's and it's a bop. And at the end is a is a cute little story about uh, the first time uh, our old group rapper chicks were was arrested. Mm. <laughs> No, mm. sh no shouts to being arrested in uh the in uh Missouri uh with with racist white cops. But that's a story for Big Silky Volume One. Uh, Baby Shower produced by On God. It's one of our favorite songs. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Big big slap. Damn it, we here at Big Silky feel that you deserve the best of web based entertainment. In these undocumented, unparalleled, unseasoned times, we need each other to get through this. Because, frankly, shit is wild crazy. And then it's boring at the same time. So, a very silky show is here for you. Young Silky, OG Silky, someone, Angel Davenport. A very silky show. Catch us Sundays on YouTube. Peace. All right, all right, all right. I feel like this is a real moment. I feel like, I feel like this is one of these moments I waited my whole life for. I mean, I, I called say. up. They said, she's coming. All the way from America. Ooh, that's the ocean. One of the greatest rappers you have ever heard. <laughs> After she raps, everyone will be cured of Corona. Oh, everyone yeah. will rise. We will remember this even after we're dead from Corona. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> Angel Davenport. <laughs> oh, all the way from motherfucking America. And my phone more expensive. Just came down from the living room. He called me up, said, pull up to the bedroom. Pull up. Pull up, shit, and I pulled up. Pulled up with my shit, my shades, my new whip. Ha <laughs> ha! Look, they don't want no real bitch. Niggas sucking power, then they cow around a real bitch. Ah, let them pay attention. I'm about to get you hoes a lesson and a blessing. Look. Everybody talk shit, can you back it up a bitch who's too afraid to function, oh I don't throw in towels, no, I'ma fight until the missiles come and set the bombs blow Everybody capping, everybody unemployed, only fans are jumping, hurt they mad, I'm making noise I ain't rapping 
sex, but all my niggas carry guns. And if a doe has taught me anything, I'm still the only one to desecrate on niggas' titles. Shorty, I'm an idol. Everything I touch is heavenly, should call me Midas. Platinum in the split, we smoking big upon the rival. Don't get in my space if you're not grateful, cause I'm vital. Look, all I know is smart work, and I ain't into threats. Interfere with what I'm on, and baby, you get checked. Mind my own, and I'm aware that niggas rats. I don't get mad, I keep my circle tight, then elevate from that. It's only right that I can save the game. Clearly, niggas need me. Wondering who working hard, and nobody that's great. The angel season, demon season. Don't need a fucking reason. I'm a leader, and I'm actually silky. It's in my jeans, bitch. I'm a mean bitch. Gonna make my team rich. Ain't no imitating me, cause I'm the only me, sis. I keep a clean bitch. Love a man who weak dick. No discrimination in my nation's only leader. Since y'all needed somebody to set the standard, I did. Everyone wanna be a goat, but everyone isn't gifted. You gotta play your position. Talent and code intuition. Ain't ain't no pride, nigga. Do your work and you gon' feel different. Look, I ain't here to judge. I ain't here to take a thing. I'm just here to build my own, so it's fuck everything. I'm taking every brain and making every shot. Even niggas and bitches who hate me gotta fucking rock. Let me fill my glass. Y'all niggas look paranoid. Don't tell me little angel got you niggas. There is boy. You see my conviction? This ain't no fucking ploy. Make my fuckers change the way they hustle as I open doors. All that shit out my cracked ass phone Cost more than y'all whole niggas lives Oh Oh I'm the hottest Hottest in these motherfucking streets Do all this shit from quarantine Don't even need no Whoa. motherfucking shirt on bitch. Whoa. Whoa. I don't need no motherfucking Whoa. shirt on Whoa. Oh my god Whoa. Whoa. Whoa.